go get them again. Oh, we have an interesting video today. We're gonna have some fun with this one. Uh, so uh, I think it was last month, our Facebook fragrance groups were heating up as uh, some fellow Canadians uh, were talking about one of our drug stores here in Canada, Shoppers Drug Mart, was selling Invictus Aqua and Intense for $19.99 Canadian, which is kind of like, oh, $15 USD on a good day. So people were, <laughs> I was having fun. I was, I was watching the car wreck. <laughs> people go nuts hoarding this stuff like it was worth hundreds of dollars. Anyway. I wasn't gonna waste valuable gas money to go see if there was some Invictus in my town, but I had to go to the post office, which uh, Canada Post are now in a lot of our Shoppers Drug Mart. So alas, I had to stop at my nearest Shoppers Drug Mart and I found, I found something. Yeah, my very first bottle of Invictus. This is Invictus Intense. And what am I doing to myself? And <laughs> while I was there, 1999 wasn't enough. I had to get uh, Cool Water Intense because that one is sold out at discounters like crazy. And I really wanted to test it. So I got a little 40 mil bottle. It's good enough for me. So yeah, let's unbox these. And uh, to anybody that's new to fragrances, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, I might, I might hurt some feelings today. Fragrance family, welcome to the Robes Awake channel. I'm your host, Mark. Today we're unboxing Cool Water Intense and Invictus Intense, the Intense Twins. To note, this is my first bottle of anything Invictus because I smelt the original, hated the bottle. The bottles are, are absolute crap. That's just my personal opinion, don't hate me. I'm, I'm, if you're new to this channel, that's what you're gonna get from me. I'm straight as an arrow. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think. The little trophies, they're shit, man. They're like something Davidoff would do. You know those Davidoff champions that used to be like a barbell fragrance bottle? What, what kind of design is that? Anything, anyway, I don't like the bottle. I don't like the original Invictus. I, I, I really didn't like it. I never smelt this intense version. So this might be all bad here today. <laughs> Hopefully, Cool Water Intense can save us. <laughs> we will see. So now we're going to start with the one that I think is the better one, which is Cool Water Intense from Davidoff. Um, I don't recall the last time I bought a Cool Water uh, flanker. Might have been way back when Hot Water was released. I don't know. It's been a while. So when I was in the trash bin at Shoppers for that Invictus hype train, 20 bucks crap, I saw this little 40 mil of the Intense for Cool Water, which is always sold out online for some reason. I had a little bit of a hype on YouTube and I decided, why not? The Cool Water DNA is good. I approve of it. I like it. And the Intense version, from what I hear, has an added coconut note. That can't be wrong. That can't be bad. So what can go wrong here? Famous last words. Let's uh, let's open this sucker up and let's see. Oh, they really, they really made this difficult for me. So there's no, no room for forgiveness here to open this one up. And that's why most reviewers usually open these up off camera. So you don't hear all that. So yeah, cool water. Man, I can't believe that thing is still selling. One of those. Oh, this is a cute little bottle. Oh, this is an EDP. It's cute. That'll be good enough for me, unless it uh, knocks my socks off. 40 mils is more than enough of a fragrance for me for a fragrance review. So let's delve into it. Let's see what Cool Water Intense brings to the table. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. It's very sweet up top. Uh, oh, I don't know about that. It's got some synthetic sweet fruitiness comes into play. There's a citric brightness to the fragrance. It's watery. Not coconut. Hmm. It's got a tropical feel to it, but it's more fruity than anything. It's definitely not, at least on the strip, definitely not coconut. And it's a fruitiness that I can't even discern what it is, to be quite honest. Very 
poorly done, unfortunately. Wow. Fizzy opening. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about this one. This kind of feels a little bit like they're trying to compete against all these blue fragrances. There are Ambrox in here. You trying to trick me, David, off? Yeah, I'm feeling no coconut. Unfortunately for you guys, uh, I'll be honest, uh, I don't smell any coconut. I, I, synthetic fruitiness, a uh, little bit of a citric brightness to the fragrance. Um, it has some watery fizziness to the release. Not a fan. We'll see what I get when I put it on my skin for a pop the cherry video, but right now, cool water intense. Happy I got the little bottle for move on to Invictus. Now on to the star of the show, Invictus Intense by Paco Rabanne. You know, the participation ribbon bottle of the fragrance game. You came to play? <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> it, like I said, it's my very first uh, trophy bottle. I smelt the original way back when it first got released. Um, it's very rare for me not to get a... <sighs> Lately, I haven't been getting hyped designer releases like Y from Yves Saint Laurent and K from Dolce & Cabana. Um, I'm trying to think of others, but uh, I've been kind of straying away from those DNAs. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's... I don't know. We'll see. Invictus, this may be the start of getting the whole collection. Why not? It's good for the channel, at least for me to say my take, because it probably differs from a lot of fragrance reviewers. You know, I'm not gonna hold anything back. Um, just because it's popular, I'm not scared of dislikes. Uh, <laughs> it's not what I'm here for. Uh, but I remember it, the, the original Invictus, and this is the intense version, so I'm kind of scared, but um, I remember the original was <clears throat> bad. Uh, I, I didn't really like it. Um, it was just a bad release. I, and people say it's childish. It's like very young. No, it was bad. It was a bad release. So we'll see. <laughs> I decided to get the, the intense version of a bad release. Uh, well, let's get this one over with. Let's take a look at it. And uh, oh, oh no. This one's opened already. They just... This must have been the tester. They fooled me. Oh well. There you go, it's unwrapped. Now, uh, you know, great, it's, it's probably the tester, so did I get a full bottle at least? Oh yeah, yeah, there's nothing, not that I'm worried, I got enough juice in here. You know, you can't say these bottles are good looking. You, you just, the participation, <laughs> participation ribbon of the fragrance game in, uh, disgusting. All right, let's try this release. Invictus. Invictus, what is it? Intense? Aye. Yeah, it's been sprayed before, obviously. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. This is sweet. You know, it reminds me of, uh, what's that other one? The, the one from uh, Wanted. Wanted. Wanted Night. That one. Man. Sweet, synthetic, very bubblegummy. Dryer sheet synthetic. Um, that's what it reminds me of. It has like a, it has like an orangey, very very plasticky orange feel to the fragrance, but it feels like a dryer sheet, but an orange flavor to the dryer sheet instead of a like a lavender. Um, that's all I'm getting, really. Yeah, this is just a sweetness overload, and they all smell the same, man. Um, I don't know. I don't know. For me, it's just too... It's too fake. It's too bubblegummy. It's too... It's too sweet. And I like my sweet fragrances. Look, I'm a fan of One Million. I like One Million, actually. Um, and that one's bubblegummy, but this one's not even... At least it has something to it. This really reminds me of Wanted Night uh, by Zaro. Um, same kind of tacky bottles, too. 
You know, they're they're all trying to do the same thing. But it's an orangey zest, but it's not a good orangey zest. It's very, uh, it's just bad. I don't like these openings. Unfortunately, I, I could see younger folks liking this. Um, I guess it's brash, it's in your face, um, but it really isn't something that someone in their 30s, like myself, I don't know. I'm very intrigued with this new generation. But anyway, that is Invictus, what, Intense? I always want to say Legend, because there is a Legend one. But Invictus Intense, um, same, same damn reaction that I got with the original Invictus. Now I'm kind of intrigued. I almost want to get Invictus just to compare it to this thing. Um, like the plastic trophy top. Uh, this bottle. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, gross. Now that you heard my take, I'd love to see yours in the comments below. This was a horrible experiment. Um, hopefully you enjoyed my reactions. Um, these are true, true reactions. I'm not trying to go too crazy. Anybody that's on my channel knows I don't go too high or too low for any reason, except that I'm there. You know, I'm not trying to get clicks. I'm not trying to get you guys riled up. And again, everybody's taste is different. But for me, these two, they're going to do interesting reviews. And uh, it's been a while since I've been kind of smelling fragrances and going, ooh, no. It's, it's been a while. There's always all these lukewarm ones. But these two are no-goes right now, especially this Invictus stuff. But I'll put it on my skin. I'll do a pop to cherry on this. I'll do a full-fledged review on everything that I do and give it its due. And uh, you may be surprised and you may see another Invictus bottle on this channel just to compare them um, i'd like to try out the aqua because a lot of people love that one we'll see but uh, please uh, share your thoughts on these two releases cool water intense and uh, invictus intense the two intense twins that are intensely bad uh, <laughs> let me know what you guys think about these and again you can differ from me obviously yes great or you can agree with me um, i'd love to hear your takes on in the comments below. And as always, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your scent wisely. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.